Hello, what have we here? Yo, what's good y'all? Lambo Kyrizian here, and today we're going to be covering the buckles and rousers of the Blade series. Starting with the buckles, Board developed five of these bad boys through the entire franchise of the series while the chalice rouser was bestowed onto all of the Joker undead. The buckles main purpose was a means to combat the undead by via fusion of the undead DNA and human DNA used within the rouse cards, allowing any of the users to transform. The Chalice Rouser was chronologically not in appearance but in the timeline the first in the series. It was only held by a Joker Undead and the only buckle that has the swipe function, which became a template for the rest of the Rider System's Rouser technology. A Joker's ability to transform into any sealed undead comes by way of the Rouser if it's used with a card. The Garen and Blade buckles were made afterwards that allow both Tachibana and Kenzaki to become both Kamarada Garen and Blade respectively, and both models of the buckle utilize the turn up function. This is easily, or at least in my opinion, the most iconic of the features seen in this series. The Liangle buckle was the last of the series that allowed Mitsuki to become Kamarada Liangle. This buckle was produced by Isaka, aka the Peacock Undead, and utilized the Open Up feature, which was a design template for Lark, Lance, and Glaive buckles for the Missing Ace movie. Now, all of the buckles, minus the Chalice Riser, were designed to specifically use an Ace card that corresponds to it. When the Ace card is scanned in order to start the transformation, a transformation screen will appear that can be used both offensively and defensively. The buckles of the turn up feature will produce a stationary transformation screen that you have to run into, while the buckles that have the open up feature will produce a transformation screen that attracts to the rider. Each rider has a personal weapon I call a rouser weapon that acts as a storage unit for their rouse cards, blank cards included, and has built in rouser technology that allows a rider to rouse the seal undead power in order to use for themselves. These weapons also have an electronic counter on them that keeps up with a rider's AP, which is a pivotal part of using any of the rouse cards. The exception to many of these statements is that of the chalice arrow, seeing that this weapon is that of the mantis undead and does not have built in rousing technology. And this form is only made when the chalice rouser is connected to the bow. And finally, we touch on the Rouse Absorbers, the accessories that allow the transformation into Jack and King forms respectively. Being that these were designed for higher category cards, the only compatible cards with this system is the Jack, Queen, and King cards. As it currently stands within the series, only two people have ever used the Rouse Absorbers in and out of Garen, reaching his Jack form, and Blade using it for both Jack and King form. And although it's never seen in the series, SIC made figures of Liango in a Jack form and Garen in a King form that I highly recommend you check out for a really cool what if scenario. But that's gonna do it for Buckles and Rousers for today. Uh, if I missed anything or you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you guys what's your favorite what's your favorite buckle what's your favorite rouser because there are some pretty cool ones in this series if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to give me a like subscribe to the channel for more common rider and super sentai weekly goodness and yeah i'll leave you with that i'm lambo calrissian reminding you guys to keep calm and toku on